Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion and lifestyle content and particularly for the woman over 40. Now, if you've seen the title, you know this, this video is all about denim and how I'm going to style denim. This is definitely one of those shop my closet videos. Nothing that I'm going to have on today is a new purchase, but I wanted to create five denim looks but not just your regular basic pair of jeans and a t-shirt look. I wanted a little more elevated look, something that's fun, something that's definitely spring. And because it's spring, I'm not gonna be just wearing a blue denim. I have black denim. I also have white or off-white or winter white, whatever you wanna call it, denim as well. But I created five looks that I think are fun, not basic, but a little dressy and something that is gonna make me feel pretty and definitely is spring appropriate. If you like to see those five looks, then stay tuned now. Let's get started. Whoo, all in one take. Before I get started, I just have on some basic <laughs> denim shorts and this denim jacket that is no longer available. This knit is really pretty. I bought this from Banana Republic probably a month, a month and a half ago. It's sleeveless. Um, that way I can take my jacket off if I get hot. I bought it in this black and also in a winter white. And it's really, really pretty. But I decided I'd wear silver jewelry with it. And look at these earrings. These are new. I think they're from Shein, which means they were under $10, but they're really, really pretty. I'm gonna go get another pair, probably get me a pair and get another pair of silver ones and get Shadi a pair of gold ones before this video comes out because y'all will buy them all out and they'll be gone. My scent of the day is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. It's a classic, it's beautiful, it's timeless. This is a perfect signature scent and it's just a scent that lasts all day long. Let me smell it. It's just beautiful. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not fruity at all. It's, it's a combination, I guess, of fruity floral, but um. I don't smell fruit in it and I don't necessarily smell flowers. So it's a very unique scent. I haven't smelled anything that smells like this. As you can see, I got a nice little dent in the bottle. This is beautiful. I buy my mother this. And um, as a matter of fact, she called me last month and told me she was almost out. I need to get, <laughs> that I need to get her another bottle of perfume, which I will do because Mother's Day is right around the corner. But this is my scent of the day. It just makes me happy to smell it. Perfect scent. If you're looking for a signature scent, this is a perfect one. And that is it for today. Oh, before I, before we go, the elephant in the room, my hair. One of you asked me about my hair and it's doing a lot better. I can, the shedding has stopped. Um, so all the treatment that I got for my hair shedding has stopped. So it's working really well. I have drops that I have to put in my hair every, every day look at my necklace hooking onto my microphone that i have to put it in my hair every day probably will for the rest of my life and i'm okay with that but i cut it not for that reason i just cut it because i was watching TikTok, and i saw this young lady with her hair this short or actually i think it was shorter and i was like oh my gosh she looks so pretty oh let me go ahead and cut my hair back off I got in the shower didn't turn it on got in the shower took the clippers, zoop, zoop, cut it all off. That way I can just clean it up really easy and throw the hair in the trash. And as soon as I looked in the mirror, I was like, oh, that is so so pretty. I feel so pretty. So that's why I cut my hair back off. And because it's about to get warm outside, so I'm gonna wear my hair short all spring and summer long. I will let it grow back some during the winter because that hawk will kill my scalp. I do not like being cold. And this head is cold in the winter time, so. I'm gonna keep it short all spring and summer, let it grow a little bit during the winter, and then I'll decide if I'm gonna cut it again next spring. But that's it now. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. So this is look number one. It's a look that you could definitely duplicate from your closet. It is a budget friendly, uh, most of the pieces are except for this shirt, okay? Um, but if you have a similar shirt, a button down shirt, this may be a little bit oversized. This is just a tad bit oversized. Most of the time I wear it tucked in to create a more uh, elevated look. But today I'm going for elevated casual. I have on a pair, very uh, budget friendly sandals. I purchased these from Zara probably three years ago. The pants are a basic pair of white jeans, skinny jeans. I rolled up and made that cuff. The shirt is a ribbed shirt from Aritzia, I think, yes, from Aritzia. I love, love their tops. Um, as you can see here, it's just a tank. 
If you don't have something like this, you can do a regular white tank top, some regular white jeans. If you don't like the cuff, you don't have to do the cuff. But this is the concept of it. I have my Dior purse to match the blue in the shirt. It's just an easy but intentional outfit. It can be changed up by just changing the color of the shirt and changing the color of the purse. Let me show you. So as you can see, I have a purple shirt on now. Just a cute little purse. This purse is, oh, I think you got this from, I don't know, remember where it was from, but it was very inexpensive. And it's the same look, just a different color. So it looks completely different, but it's still cute and elevated and fun. Definitely spring appropriate. If you have a bright shirt or maybe a linen shirt of a bold color or a solid color, that would work well with this outfit as well. It's just that white piece white top white bottom kind of white shoe some simple sandals or you can do a nude sandal if you don't have anything like this to create a similar look and it's just fun and definitely spring appropriate so this is the next look this is so pretty i feel so pretty in this this shirt is from zara it sold out immediately um these pants are ankle flare from J. Crew, I've had them a while. They're button front, so they're very, very comfortable. A really nice stretch. And yes, they are a black and a dark denim, but they're kind of a faded black denim, which is perfect for spring. And you know, you can wear black any time of the year. But I wore those. These shoes are old. They're probably six, seven, eight years old from Gianni Beanie. They do have some mules similar to this but they don't have this particular pair i'll see if i can still find them if they're still available and because it's spring i wanted to do a pop of color with the black and white and so i chose this red purse that i got from coach i can't remember what they call this but i've had this for quite a few years too and this is just so pretty you know i love me a shoulder moment and a shoulder moment looks great on everyone. I don't care if you're 15, from 15 to 95, a shoulder moment is gonna look good. And I love this. This is comfortable, it's modern, it's casual, but just a little, a little elevated. It's not just your basic, again, jean and t-shirt. It's a pair of jeans, a cute, comfortable pair of heels, a chunky heel, which is gonna be very comfortable, and an elevated top, which is this white top, is gonna to look fantastic at every single time. So this is the next look. This is so pretty. It is definitely a very feminine look. I have this dark denim pencil skirt that I've had for a long time. I honestly have no clue where it came from. I paired it with this tan belt and I wore a tan belt because the stitching and the denim is tan, so it just really, really elevates this look. This is just very feminine. And I also paired it with this cream short sleeve knit. So if you're out shopping, and my husband likes to say, what in the world is the point of a short sleeve sweater? Spring, spring is the point of a short sleeve sweater. So this is a short sleeve knit. It has lots of holes in it. It has some detail in the front but it lets a lot of air in so you don't get too hot wearing this. It has a little detail on the sleeve. It's so pretty and it pairs very well with the dark denim and the tan. This is a very, very cohesive. It's a neutral look, but it's a very cohesive look. I pair these with um, these shoes from, I think they're from Schultz. They have the clear straps across the foot. They have shoes like this at Zara as well. But you can see in a, the shoe has a tan heel, a dark tan heel, so it matches the purse, matches the belt. Just a very seamless, cohesive, feminine, elevated denim look. If you find yourself a pencil skirt, go ahead and get it because they will not always be on trend, but they'll always be in fashion. They'll always be in style. So this is my next look and without a doubt, my favorite look of the day. This is just so chic and so beautiful, so feminine and so elevated. I love it. Yes, this is my white skinny jeans. I paired it with a my tan belt. Actually, this is the same black Ferragamo belt. It's um, reversible, so it's tan on one side. This blazer I've had for quite some time. It is one of the pieces that I recommend everyone have in their wardrobe. A tan blazer, whether it's a wool blend or wool or cotton, whatever you can afford, whatever's within your budget, I recommend you have it in your wardrobe. It's really going to take you so many places as far as outfits when you want to put outfits together. 
So that is it. I have, of course, my um, Celine purse to match the tan belt and the shoes are a nude shoe, the same nude shoe with the tan on the bottom, but this is beautiful. Now, if you're the kind of person that doesn't like neutrals, if you like a pop of color, you want to, you want this look, but you want some pizzazz, you want some color to it, you can change up the blazer, change up the purse, even change up the shoes if you like, and change up the belt and create a completely different look. Let me show you. So as you can see here, I changed my purse to a white purse. I changed the belt. Oh, I didn't have that on. So as you can see, I have the same outfit concept change it up so it's bright and bold, not neutral whatsoever. So I have the same pants, same shoes. I changed the purse for this white purse, exchanged the purse for this white purse, exchanged the blazer for this bold green blazer from Zara. It has gold buttons. I switched out the belt to a white belt. It's um, from Versace, it has gold detail. It pulls in the gold buttons from the blazer so that it really works well together. So same outfit, but bold and bright versus neutral. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm gonna call this look elevated, intentional, and fun. So anytime you see a pair of jeans with a blazer, it's always gonna be a little bit more than a casual look. These are the jeans from Express that I raved about in my last video that I have two pair of because I love them that much. I paired it with this belt from Express also, and this striped shirt, you know, stripes are on trend. What's also on trend is baseball caps, whether it's with shorts, whether it's with jeans or skirts or dresses, they're definitely on trend. And as you heard me say, if you remember, I'm wearing my, <laughs> the baseball cap with my name on it. So I paired this cap, which is black and white with the black and white that I have going on with the top and the blazer. I also paired it with my, uh, Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the leather with the gold hardware and some black heels that I purchased from Zara probably four or five years ago. This is definitely an elevated casual look. I can take the blazer off when it gets around 12, 1 o'clock and it starts heating up outside. So I'm going to be warm all morning. I can take the blazer off so I can cool down and just still feel cute and elevated. And this is a look you can certainly pull out of your closet. Well, that's it family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If any of the pieces that I had on today are still available, I will leave links to them in the description box. I will also leave links to them on my website, angelamichelle.com. You go there to the very top YouTube videos, shop my YouTube videos, and you'll see the thumbnail and you click on the item. And it'll take you directly to the store where you can purchase. Now, no matter where you are in the world today, I want you to know that you are important, that you are appreciated, that you are loved, and that I want you to have the most amazingly blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.